All right, angry bike mechanic. Just want to show you something really quick. So this is just one of the shorts about bleeding Shimano brakes. I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you why to do it and how I do it as maybe an overview. But that's it. Just really quick. Hang on. All right, notice my syringe down here. I like the fork bleeds. Now you can get in there. You can take this caliper off and kind of rotate it around. Make sure you get all the bubbles out. But usually I attach my syringe mostly full of fresh Shimano fluid once a season. And I crack the, uh, the bleed nipple before I attach the syringe. Let's, and let that fluid kind of bubble up a little bit so that when I attach the syringe, I've got a minimal amount of air that I've got to suck back up into the syringe. So I do that and they then actually crack it open after I've got the syringe attached and then draw up some fluid. So any air goes into the top of the syringe. See that little bubble? Whoop. There's a little bubble dip. See that bubble? So that goes up and then uh, up at the top, you've got your funnel. Oh yeah, I see that dark fluid. And I actually prefer to push up from, or push the fluid up from the bottom. So that's why I use a syringe. Push the fluid from the bottom, pushes all this nasty, nasty stuff up into the funnel. And bubbles, they, they go up anyway. So why would you use a gravity bleed in such a tiny system if the bubbles are gonna float up, which is the opposite direction of the gravity bleed. So push it up. And as you do that, wiggle stuff. Move the, move the line, pump the lever, and get some of that fluid out. Notice the difference in color. Pink, clear, translucent, pink. Line, nasty, nasty gray. That gray is actually a result of pressure and heat. Two things that the brake is exposed to. The exclusive two things that the brake is supposed to do is deal with pressure and heat. So this is why we bleed it. This darkening is actually a natural phenomenon associated with hydraulic oils. And Shimano brakes are among the worst or the biggest culprits for this kind of darkening of the fluid. So be aware of that and bleed your brakes. And if you can do it a few times a season, if you're riding a lot, do it. Learn how to do it on your own. Anyway, that's a quick tip. I hope that was super useful. Um, bleeding brakes is so important. Hydraulics are a major feature of the bike these days. And no matter how you do it, you can't get away with not servicing your hydraulic equipment on your bike. Shocks, fork, brakes, whatever it is, whatever there's hydraulics, you need to change out that fluid. All right, good luck on the trail. Stay alive.